So Sora has finally been released, and it has some crazy features which I'll be going into. I'll go through all the tools, loads of different prompts, and I'll be testing it against the top AI generators out there in a prompt battle. And I'll give you my honest thoughts. Okay, let's get into it. So to start with, I'm going to show you how to use it and what all the tools do. Feel free to skip through this if you already know how to use it. So before we get into it, these are the two plans they have at the moment. It goes from $20 a month for the plus plan and then $200 a month for the pro plan, which is an extortionate amount of money. And with the plus plan, you get up to 50 videos and only 720p resolution and five second duration. But with the pro plan, you get up to 500 videos, 1080p resolution and up to 20 seconds duration. So you get a lot more with the pro plan, but at $200 a month, I don't think it's going to appeal to the everyday person, which is a real shame. So this is Sora's homepage, and at first glance, it's reminding me a lot of Mid Journey. And I do quite like how they've got all of these different videos laid out for you to see. So I would definitely recommend checking out this featured page, as there's just so much variety and inspiration for videos to create in Sora. And if you go onto the recent page, it will show generations that have recently been made by different Sora users. And there is so much variety here. So if you're browsing and you find a video that you like, just make sure to click on the bookmark icon. And when you click on the video, it will give you the prompts that they've used. And you'll notice they have all these different tools down here, which we'll get to shortly. So let's try a prompt. So here's my video of an alien blending in naturally with New York City. Paranoia thriller style 35mm film. And it looks pretty good actually. It's got a really creepy vibe to it. And I think the colour grading, it makes it feel a bit more like a late 90s, early 2000s thriller film. Sora has some really cool tools to play around with. They have storyboard mode, recut, remix, blend and loop. So I'll quickly show you how all these work and let's start off with storyboard mode. I've created another video but with that same prompt and then if you click on view story it will go into storyboard mode. Now with storyboard mode it allows you to organize and edit a unique sequence of your videos in a personal timeline. So you can create multiple shots in one video. And as you can see, it's already generated two different shots for me based on the alien video. So the first shot is this one. And then the second shot, it says the alien glances over its shoulder. And you can always add more. So if I push that one back, I can click here and add a new prompt. So I've put for the third one, the alien runs away. So hopefully it should create videos based on these prompts all in one video and it should cut in between the shots. Okay, so let's check out the video. And that's the first scene, and then the second scene, and the third scene. And if you look down at the play bar, you can see the light gray areas where the new scenes start. And as you can see, it does follow the prompts. The alien looks over its shoulder and then starts to run away. It's not the best video to be honest, but it is interesting how you can alter the prompt as the video goes on. Storyboard can look different. So in this example, they have three distinct shots. So in this one, it shows the landscape and then it cuts to the person looking outside of the spaceship and then it cuts to the face of the person. And this is all in one video. So you can cut to different shots within the storyboard mode. And just to mention, they also have presets. So if you want to change the look of your video, they have a few different styles built in. So they have Balloon World, Stop Motion, Archival, Film Noir, and Cardboard and Papercraft. So this is what all the different styles look like. And what's nice is that they are very, very different from each other. So make sure to have a play around with these presets. Now let's have a look at the Recut mode. So with Recut, you can change parts of the video. So if I want to change the intro of the video, I'll just drag this to a part of the video that I like, and then you can alter the intro part or you can do the same for the end. You can move this part of the playhead to keep that part of the video and change the rest. So you can click here and enter a new prompt. So for the first part of the video, I've changed it to the alien appears from a large beam of light from the sky. And then it should transition back to this part of the video. And then I can change the ending. So I've put for the end, the alien flies away. 
Hey, the results didn't work that well, to be honest. As you can see, the start is very disjointed from the middle part, and then at the end, the alien doesn't fly away. So it didn't listen to my prompt as well as I thought it would, but I'm sure if I kept trying, it would get different results. But it will definitely chew through credits doing it that way. You can see how many credits you're going to use for your generations if you hover over the help button. At the moment, I'm just generating at 480p, which is quite a low resolution. And at 5 seconds, these are costing me 25 credits. But if you bump it up to 720p, it takes the credits up to 60. And 720p isn't that high resolution, to be honest. So I can imagine on the pro plan at 1080p, and if you extend the duration, then it's going to cost a lot more. So just be wary that it will chew through credits if you're creating demanding videos. Just a quick note here, if you're looking to upload images or video to Sora, then here are some things you need to know. So you can't upload media containing people that are under the age of 18, you can't upload media containing violence or explicit themes, you're not allowed to upload anything you don't have the right to, and you can have your account banned if you do try to. And I do hope people use it respectfully. And another note is, you cannot upload any media containing people if you are not on the pro plan. Which is very frustrating. Now let's have a look at Remix, which is probably my favourite mode. So Remix allows you to reimagine your footage. And I saw a really good example of this on social media. So I have to shout out Nathan Shipley VFX, who had this awesome video of him holding a pair of scissors, and then he turned it into a video of a bird in Sora. And I think it looks awesome. So I tried my own version, but I just quickly recorded my hand. So I did this by clicking into storyboard, and then I clicked on upload image or video, and then I uploaded the video of my hand. And once it's uploaded, I just clicked create. So what it does, it will just create that same video, but now it will allow you to edit it. So if you come down to remix mode, you can prompt what you want the video to turn into. So I put in a close-up of a curious tropical bird looking around a beautiful nature scene by a pond. And then if you click here, you can see there are different strengths you can choose. You can also click on custom, which has numbers from 1 to 8 to choose. So I'll do one in strong, mild, and subtle, and we'll see how it looks. So we have the strong version, which is a good looking video. Even though it does look very different, it's still keeping a similar composition to my original video of my hand. And then if we go to the mild remix, while for some reason the shot is out of focus, it is managing to stick to the motion of my hand a lot better, which is pretty cool. And this is the subtle remix, which pretty much just looks exactly like my hand, but with a really weird texture over the top. So I would definitely go for the mid or strong remix to get the best results. And here is another video I created. So I just filmed myself at home with this toy car and I took it into Sora. And these are the results. So you can have a lot of fun with recreating shots just from everyday items that you can film at home. And it allows you to get really creative. And they have loop mode, which does exactly what it says. It creates a seamless loop of a video. So here are a couple of examples. And here is the Blend tool. So Blend allows you to combine two videos into one seamless clip. And it allows you to choose the strength of each video and when they begin to merge. It can create some really interesting videos. Now let's have a prompt battle between Sora and other AI video generators. So I've used the same prompt across all video generators, and I'll be mixing in between Kling AI, Minimax, and Runway. So sit back, relax, 
and let me know which ones you think look best in the comments down below. I think that was a really good test to see how each of these video generators looks against each other. Each one definitely has their strengths and weaknesses. To be honest, my personal preference is I think Kling came out on top on a lot of them, but it's all down to personal preference. And like I said before, if you could leave your favorite in the comments down below, that would be awesome. Okay, so we're wrapping up this video, and I have mixed thoughts about Sora. While I think it's great that they've actually released it, I am quite underwhelmed. And that's mainly because of the pricing structure and the limitations they're putting on the users. As I chewed through credits so quickly on that $20 plan, and they don't give you the option to buy credits after. So it kind of forces you to think, should I go for the $200 a month option? Which is just too much money. And even that one doesn't give you unlimited videos. So I do think you really have to think about your situation and look at the other tools out there. Let me know your thoughts on Sora down below, and I'm sure we'll see some exciting updates from Sora sooner rather than later. If you enjoyed this video, please consider clicking that like button and subscribing to our channel. If you would like to see any of our other videos, then feel free to click the image you can see on screen. Thanks for watching.